Oh, what's up guys? This is the Rotherman and I am back to bring you to the next episode of my Empire Total War Let's Play as the Kingdom of Bavaria. And in this episode we have made contact with the Indian main front line. With this first force under Baharaji Khan, with no artillery but a lot of infantry, butting up against Sigmund's force. So let's destroy them. They are ripe for the destruction, we've got plenty of cavalry. So I'm hoping to do some good stuff here. Uh, how are probably going to want to focus on the camels, because their camels can be quite frustrating for our cavalry force. But our hope is to beat them and foot force them east. And then I think next turn we should have enough uh, fifth rates to begin transporting all of our armies across over to India. Like I said, I want to go for Ceylon first, and then around to Calcutta and fortify it. Ooh, they've nullified my advantage in artillery. So let's go for a more traditional arrangement. Advance and troll the guns up. It's not ideal. Because our terrain isn't... Uh, it's just not suited for placing uh, my artillery and bombarding from the get-go. How it says, however, they can get to work. Oh, I've accidentally redeployed one of their guns. There we go. Infantry and Grenadiers on the flank. Plus the Jaeger unit. Infantry Grenadiers on the left. Plus a Jaeger unit. Let's just put my heavies on the flank. And I might keep my Lancers as a bit of a reserve. Something like that. Okay, yeah, this is gonna get real messy, real fast. Something like. Push my cuirassiers over. Where's my. Let this unit push up. Okay, the bowmen should go down pretty quick. Push the Hussars up. Okay, bring my cavalry to bear because we've got some Sikh warriors who wish to do battle. Large enemy melee contingent. Hussars charge in as well. Try break them. Charge the levy. Push the cavalry up the lancers. Go for the bowmen. It's part of the risk of coming forward to meet them. Can you hit the dervishes because we can ambush them as a pair. New men push up. Sars are doing okay. Curacier are doing okay. Where's my Curacier from this flank? Go for the camel mercenaries. They charge the bowmen. New men push up. Excellent. New men form up to engage that unit. New men form up. Engage them. You men all engage the levy. Pull the lancer guard out. You men push forward to engage the cavalry. You men engage the general's bodyguard. Quick climb's doing okay. Sigismund push up. Okay, right, where 
if I've got one set of one set of guns limbered up, so let's withdraw to make use of them. About face. Okay, so you men lo reload and engage the general's bodyguard. That's the, that's the intention there. This cavalry's making progress. You men have to hit the camel, the desert mercenaries. You men get involved in the dervishes. There we go. So we're firing by rank into the general unit. It's going to plan. Okay, those are my skirmishes in combat there. I'm glad they didn't have to do anything. Taking out the general would be very valuable. I mean, he's right there. Got him. Charge you into the rear of this combat. Cavalry charge the bowmen. Jaeger forms slightly thinner ranks. Yes. You need a broken and a ram. So now, form up as planned. Line infantry advance. Well, don't, well, don't advance, but. Well, if they want to get into the combat too, get my general over here. Chase them down. My general's unit can do some of the killing. Can you men withdraw? And limber the guns. You engage. Actually, can you be engaged with. You can roughly be engaged with quick climb. You guys can't at the rear. Engage the Kizilbashi at point blank range. Missed. Hit. Hit it. A good hit. Yes, there we go. Mow down the levee. Taking the hammering, but we have we have won the day. Chase down the levee. Let's get my lances over here. Just chase down and destroy some units. General's getting some good kills at the expense of their infantry. You go for the dervishes rather than the bowmen. Ooh, good hits. That's going to convince them retreat is preferable. Just like those guys will find out. Let's run my skirmishes up. Excellent. So let's pull you guys off, send you chase down some slightly different units. That's right, some of you stopped to turn and fight and that will cause your destruction. Nice. Push up rapidly. Support our skirmishes. You may actually kill the 150th. We're engaging them with bow fire. I'm overshot. I'm hoping I can. My adjustments will help. Okay, 
Because of Machine Musketeers, they're not brilliant. The problem is there's just so darn many of them. Well, you're in a position to knock out the 150th. Only two. They should both be defeated. So he's down. With one fellow left. And there he goes. Let's just bring you back. I mean, you're both going to focus on this unit of, of infantry just to make sure they die. As is tradition, the AI does not want to engage our infantry line instead they would prefer to get cheap shots at my general now oh, it's my round shot at the unit of bowmen to be honest you guys can probably redeploy but look yeah they are just determined To engage. Oh, no, not my general, my cuirassier. Boy, my cavalry, the bowmen have routed. Yeah, we're going to see this out because we're going to be able to get some good kills. So, Indian mercenaries are a bit better than Kazabashi. But let's make sure they all die. Excellent. Hope this teaches them a lesson. Yeah, you want to start landing troops in near Calcutta soon. Decisive victory, nice. Yeah, you want to land some troops near Calcutta to start trying to draw their forces away from the front. 4,435 kills. Forward, Excellent work. You men replenish. Let's hope our next battlefield will be a bit more favourable. Can't get within range. Everyone else is storming down into the area. We've got plenty of movement that needs to be done. So. New men. To India. New men to India. And then, alright, ooh, lots of upgrades. Okay, France. France can start to stand up an army to deal with any counterattacks. Actually, in which case, I don't want my 24 pounders here, I want just a regular army. Because this is an army that's going to sit around fighting in Europe. There they are. 24 pounders, then in Amsterdam. Let's recruit some infantry. Actually, no, let's recruit the infantry in Munich. Oh no, you're about to finish your own army. Excellent. So in two turns, you'll you you will be another army. You, actually, you're going to go for um, Iceland because you know that needs to be destroyed or taken, not destroyed itself. Okay, something like that. Because we need our home squadrons as well. Right, so back over here. Slightly getting distracted by the building. So you men are embarked. So you're going to do the same thing. You're going to make for Belfast. Shall we clear out Glasgow? And get three armies out in the next wave. There you go, Mr. Oh no, not all of them. 
Sometimes this is where things get a bit frustrating. So if I move all of you out. The army has stayed embarked in the last one. Good. Real frame ratey. Okay, right, don't go into there. Go into Newcastle then. Move the galley out to the port. Get him in, get him embarked. Rudolf Mosler. Yeah, our shun is actually just being out of range, although they can get to Waterford, so let's get you guys back to Liverpool. So that's three more armies that will be able to push. I should probably do this, really. The next turn, we can get the other three embarked. Good. And you... You can go to Munich. What could really be useful is if I got a... Well, I need to get some ships over to India. Some an actual fleet. Okay, let's take Mathaus Frey. Okay, that'll start to suck the cash up. Because let's assume we'll be over in... Our armies will be over in India soon and we'll have secure ports in Sri Lanka. My last unit of Freikor I can recruit. Okay, so this Munich army is going to go take Iceland, and then it will join the attack. Apart from that, I think I kind of, I think all I really want to do is just drop some. I've mean, got loads of money. Let's drop some defenses down on at least some of our frontier cities. Anything on the west coast, that's where they can actually hit us. Ends of tech, nothing much really on the horizon, but then again we've got almost everything we need. Apart from that, let's, we're going to hit and turn. Mm, there's a large enemy position. Well, I mean, we've got lots of enemies in the north, not quite so many in the south. You could push to towards Nerun, but you're going to actually push to this river crossing. And then let's... Ah, oh, it's the first thing I want to do. Make sure Zahedin's got good roads upgraded, which they do. Right, let's hit N10. My agents are continuing on their merry way. We've got a whole lot of armies. May end up directing some of those to the south. But we do want to cover all the river crossings. Well, here come my agents. They've got Bibles in hand. They're ready to do some converting. These will become true people of God, and they will like it. Really, what I should be doing is I should be constructing a grand armada to now to start to put the screws on. Oh yes, I will fight them. To put the screws on the Indian economy. Really, I should be building fleets and fleets and fleets with an idea that I can shut down all their ports and try and see if I can uh, create a bit of squeeze in their economy. Capturing Ceylon would definitely be useful. Oh, that's, I was hoping it'd be a river battle. Yeah, capturing Ceylon would be incredibly useful in that regard. Because that'd give us a, a reasonable port within range most of their ports and we can build lots of junk there we go. 
Yep, quite a standard layout. Something like that. So that's our three. Ah, yeah, I thought I, I, thought, I thought I might have nicked a pair of infantry units from somewhere, but I knew we had plenty. Mercenaries in the center. Marines and Grenadiers behind the lines. Lots of cavalry, including Mr. Farber. Oh, heavy horse howitzer artillery. They're done for. Aim my howitzers at actual units. All the foot artillery is going to engage. They're 24 pounders. Guns are firing. Oh god alive, look at that. 300 down to 83, they're done for. They're not going to stick around after that, are they? Oh my god they are. You lucky sods. You can only just be consider yourselves lucky that the other helmets has missed. Yeah, let's make my heavy horse howitzers aim at this unit, because that unit will crack and as soon as they get hit by any sort of ca cavalry unit. Oh, and their general's getting hit by secondary fire from the counter battery work. God bless him. This is why you've got to be careful. This is why you don't just wander up within range of our armies, Mur Mughal Empire. I suppose it's good these guys don't fire quite so often because their firepower is ludicrous. Not to kill quite so many against the dervishes because they've repositioned. The general's routing. To be honest, my cavalry is going to advance. Once you weaken this unit of dervishes and one of these units of dervishes, it's mostly bowmen and levy. I mean, the generals. Yeah, the generals come back. They've missed all the misses. Oh, the gunners have no guns now. That's a good outcome. So, we definitely want to push on the left. The right were a bit more. I might focus my howitzers on the, the other flank for now, because you guys are going to be destroyed. The levy are going to be destroyed. Focus the guns on the elephants. Dragoons, they'll chase down the dervishes to till destruction. Charge! Yeah, you are not going to last that long. Owen Zolan can engage this unit of dervishes because they are a Curacy Air Force. It might take them a bit of time to kill them all, but they will kill them. Unlike this unit of dervishes. They're going down rapidly. Advance. Let's back up the dervish fight. We're about to see another unit of dervishes come in. Dragoons go after the dervishes. Krishnek horse go after the levy. No, it should stay out. Because they've given you an opportunity to withdraw here. And if they're going to advance to my gun line, 
they can. Let's get my drummer over here to help. Yeah, now they've realised actually there's a lot of cavalry behind this and it's really quite dangerous. Push neck horse. Keep fighting. Artillery will focus on the bowmen. It's largely going to be a... Pursue until destroyed. There we go. Okay, first of all, we're going to continue. Stop all my artillery from fighting. Actually, no, you guys keep going after the levy. You guys go after the gunners. No, you guys go after the gunners. We should be able to catch up to them closer. General's bodyguard go after that dervish unit. Excellent. That's them taken care of. We can also focus on trying to kill these levy. Which is no trouble. And they've escaped. These guys are soon. <laughs> yeah, there they go. I mean, it says heroic victory, but uh, I don't think it was particularly heroic. Oh, yes. Back you go. You got to do some thinking, Mughal Empire. Oh, I'm going to uh, auto that. Lost more men than we should have done, but there's only so many incremental fights I want to do. They're raiding on their way back to Naroon. Afghanistan's... Oh, see, they're moving up into the hills. Pirates go... Oh, I forgot about the pirates. Yeah, go on. Flip. Didn't kill him, though. You're probably going to kill them in a the subsequent chase, though. Ooh, yeah. Nassau, the garrison. Nassau attacking. So let's destroy them. Then this will be... Nearly, I think I think this might be the end of the pirates. Um, but then we can land. That means this army can then help push in North America. I think that would be a good outcome. I think that would be a very good outcome. I mean, the guns are going to be up on this bit of high ground. We are going to be pushing to meet them. The enemy pirates are dogs. They will not withstand against us. Excellent. Just something like this. running right off the bat. My land band militia can try and push around the flank, get my warriors up front. Colonial light on the other flank. Native bowmen can reinforce my line. And the gunners get free to engage whoever they wish. You're going to be within range. You are a bit squiffy, so let's push you up like so. Light infantry like so. Oh, I've got artillery fire smacking straight into the middle of this enemy concentration. Okay, and we're off to the races. My native troops are going after the general's bodyguard. This so called. Pirate Lord.
one go left, one go right. Or it will off until you get close. You see him. Same view, now you see him. Pull back the lights, Bowman, give them some extra firepower. You know, I charged you guys in. Was that a bad decision? General's killed, can pick out the guns. Shattered, wavering. Lots of units that are broken, but not actually shattered so they could run are you shattered you are good so then it's important we keep the line advancing in the right overall direction got a whole lot of pirates but we need to make sure we are doing we need to shatter people so they don't come back. Because then the battle ends rather quickly like this. Nice. Could chase them down, but it's a bit superfluous, really. The enemy garrison has thrown themselves against us, likely because it was their last or second to last turn before being destroyed anyway. Nice. So I'm going to hop straight over to Nassau. Yeah, they're raiding on their way back to the line, so that's okay. Over in the Americas, so yeah, Nassau is ours. Mr. Frankfurter, repair, great port. Pirate ships are all gone. Our fifth is a bit overkill for a guard ship in the Bahamas, but we're going to do it anyway. Excellent. Get the ports upgraded, get a steam dry dock upgraded. Okay, so let's get our fourth rate up to Holguin. Let's get a sloop to protect that. So you're currently a fourth rate ship of the line, so let's get... Some more fourths, some fifths, and some six. Well, get okay. a sixth and a carronade frigate. <clears throat> so that'd be that'll be quite a good lower level squadron completed. So up here to the north, we are at, we are in kind of stalemate mode <clears throat> while I focus on India, and as well as this army, this unit needs to be able to leave Agvatuk minus eleven. I mean, you're going to get a native warrior auxiliary to make up for the unit you lost. Upgrade the water power cloth mill, the governor's palace, and the roads. Get some sloops recruiting up here as well. Construction report, mines. Okay, right. Great states. Yeah, good. Completed. A lot of stuff being built. Probably missed some, but we'll generally catch them. The roads are being built. Good. Industrial mining complex. Good. Excellent, excellent, excellent. This army... <clears throat> Is likely to. Just a second, everyone. Sorry for that. Uh, okay. This army is going to 
do something very similar to what we've all seen before and just give them a, an order just to run from a to move from a long way off to provide garrison support how about egypt is egypt maxed out the potters at elat upgraded into kilns how are you doing sunny Minus five. Okay, right. So we'll let's get some group two turns worth of militia. That'll help stabilize the line. Some another army under Mr. Wiener. Push up to Brest. It's take you two turns to get there, so recruit a selection of third rates. They'll carry you onward. Get our next. Make sure our agents stay embarked. There we go, and Newcastle. Taking a bit of time to get over there, but get over there they will. Okay, you men embarked. So Waterford. I mean, one of you is going to get the full, uh, the full. Fleet transport over on rather than one dainty little ship. Well, I am going to double check uh, the map to make sure that we've not we've not got any armies bobbing around in India that we've we've missed. Although I, sh I meant to uh, combine the fleet. Okay, we're going to bring the galley over with us. Oh no, actually, strictly speaking, you're probably better served. I mean, we don't really need a fleet. We don't need all these ships here. If we've got a suitable, if we build a suitable fleet protecting the uh, Baltic approaches, but we don't currently have that. We will have something. Still recruiting. Everything else is largely done. 71 grand. That's what we've got to play with. So. Can you, Chris Carsten Cray, leave Zahedin? You can! And the good people are being converted to Catholicism as we speak. Yes, sir. So you can advance. That's too far north. You have to go. Can you get through that gap? Is there no way you can cut across the, those hills? Sadly not. You're going to go south as well. You're at full move. You need to recruit a sloop so then this army can continue to advance. Yeah, my southern front's going to be held up a bit. In the north, however, things are a lot more sprightly. So you put Kabul under siege. Chiefly because I want to say, okay, you cover this crossing. You go after this crossing. You steam towards this bridge because we have an enemy concentration on the bridge there. Mr. Guverman, you can support the front front as well. We've got a bit of a bottleneck here at, at Afghanistan, but that will clear itself soon. Okay, you're going to infiltrate Srinagar. In which case, then you will infiltrate. Or well, you're going to infiltrate. Udaipur. 
you're going to somewhere way inside India. So you're going to go to Ahmadnagar. There's another army, Ram Abdullah. Plenty of Gurkhas and got some heavy cavalry. Give you an order to keep pushing. Cool. Okay, so Mr. Father, let's take Afghanistan. Take Afghanistan, rebuild one of the buildings into a Catholic, Catholic church school, then we will be off to the races. We can start... Well, we'll start converting the population of Afghanistan. We can push our religion agent, a religious agent forward into other Indian territories. I'm, I'm kind of assuming it's going to take a bit of time before we can uh, make a huge amount of progress on the Indian front, simply, simply due to mass. They're going to have so many uh, armies in the field, it's going to take our, us time to deal with them. Bog. Gunners deploy on the hill. You men are going to go through the centre of town. Skirmishers are going to stay to protect the guns. Our regular line are going to push the left. My elites are going to get some cavalry support. I mean, my howitzers are likely to likely going to just stay firing round shot. Yeah, they've deployed far back. It's a misty day in Afghanistan, a lot of artillery against the garrison mortars. We've knocked out two of their mortars already. Our line is going to run. We're going to have to push up even further. Keep, let all our artillery carry on engaging the mortars. Another, another broadside effectively coming in. These. Sorry for that. We uh, these. Oh, God, look at all those hits. Even the misses are doing really good. So we've got this unit of mercenaries over here. Although they look like they really don't want to uh, join the fight. I may bring my mercenaries over here just to kind of... No, my, my own skirmishes over here rather. One go around this way, one go around the front. Of my Jaeger, they're in a bit of a dodgy position, but they'll be okay. There we go. Now the enemy has led redeploy, I think. Yeah, garrison musketmen, but they are Israeli effectively. Yeah, it's not what I, I didn't really want my Jaeger to engage them in melee combat, but they're there now, they can take the hits. Right, here come Grenadier Guards. Just hold! What we have to do is not die. Oh, my artillery is causing a significant emotional event amongst the Afghan population. There we go. These guys are going down. Where's my... 
Heavy cavalry engage the mercenaries. Still going down. Camel gunners to the rear. Camel gunners are well within range. Shattered, pull back. Oh, they're gonna they're gonna uh, surround my grenadier guards, but that's very much a you're not I'm not trapped in here with you, you're trapped in here with me style of problem. And yep, I've got my grenadiers surrounded. But as this unit is defeated. Oh no, they're shattered anyway. Chase them down. Press the air, fall back. Something exposed to camel gunner fire. Don't really want to lose them in that manner. My other 24s can also engage. try and shift this line forward a little bit. Yeah, I knew it would be, it would be a, these these uh, cassier would be would be a bit depleted after such an engagement. general. I'll withdraw the guns. Withdraw the cavalry, I should say. Push them out the right flank on their own. They don't have to pursue anymore. Focus all my artillery on the camels. No bad idea, because I'm now going to do that. Put artillery engage the general, how it's a ceasefire. So even though my hussars aren't the best to attack the camel gunners, they'll provide extra mass to support the horse guards. Push up to support them, but I believe they just routed. In which case, push up to engage their general. They're shattered. This unit of Hohenzollern can push up. My Curacier can push up to this side of the general. My Hussars chase down the camel gunners. But other than that, I think this is end game, so I'm going to speed up the time, just because we are. We only have to deal with this general's bodyguard, so let's cease the heavy artillery fire. How are they routed before my cavalry could get into position? They're still routing. The general really did not want to fight. He hugged the he hugged the edge of the battle map, and as soon as he could, he went right. I'm done. I'm done. Peace out. Excellent. So Kabul is ours. Let's get this repaired. Let's get the army replenished. So what have we got to play with? Okay, we can get rid of one of these pleasure gardens. The roads are good. So we've got pleasure gardens up here. Pleasure gardens here. Let's get rid of two of them. So you want to get a religious building and probably want to get some industry to help support the war effort. I've got no hidden Indian fleets to deal with. Okay. 
Okay. Great depletion state. Okay. Fairly sure we've upgraded everything we can. Let's hit and turn. Yep, here come the priests. <laughs> Man, that's a whole lot of priests. Okay, so hopefully they're scrambling to deal with our new front line up in the north, and they're thinking, "Oh no, we've got to, we've got to, we've got to cover ourselves here." So then, when I land in Calcutta, it's going to really surprise them because they have mass. They do have mass. Yeah, that's why I want to gain control over that river. Interesting, we've landed an army towards Narun. They've attacked us with a small army, which I'm not going to water resolve because we have a larger force behind the back. So let's fight this manually. If necessary, this army can withdraw, but I'd ideally like it not to do that. And at the same time, I suppose I should have not auto resolved that previous battle. Okay, so where's my really weak units? You probably want cavalry defences more so than trenches at that size. Yeah, let's do this properly. And again, I don't like putting defences on my guns because you can see the, the arc of fire for guns is really quite wide. And as soon as you put defences in, it, it's very narrow. So they're good if you know, if you're convinced about where they're going to be, such as crossing a river or coming through a breach in a city. But I really don't like them um, in the open field. Plus it means it gets rid of their uh, mounts, and that's very inconvenient. So group tap. Your group tap. You're a bit isolated on the flank. But you can get some buddies for support. Excellent. We've got some reserves. I oh, know we don't. <laughs> These are the units that are deployed over here. Excellent. And then you guys like so. Battle Dragoons hold. Howitzers. Just deploy. We're going to both be quick climbing like buggery. Unless they're out of range in which you will round shot. A range of trap or shock, so let's speed up time just a little bit until until they get within range of more interesting types of shock. There we go. So quick climb, quick climb. Some of these chaps, you guys, are just within trap or shot range. So let's switch to that as a very capable style of shot. Let's go for the dervishes on the right flank. Slow mo. Slow mo. a bunch of infantry kill there. The 
if they go for my infantry unit, these guys have two cavalry units in support. There we go, that's blowing the line through their dervishes. So definitely like focusing on the Sikh warriors, because they're a really good melee unit. Slowly advancing into the meat grinder. So, oh, that's a that's really done a number on this levy. I suppose I should really be focusing on the Kizobashi front. I mean, this dervish is going to be engaged by musket fire from the 29th. The shrapnel is good, but it always feels like at close range. The canister is a bit more dependable. Oh, like that. I mean, that. That was a clear boom. Really good hit. You might engage the dervishes. Can is the shot. against the Seed Warriors. Howitz has switched to round shot. Engage the General's Elephants. The General's been killed. Excellent. That's exactly what we're talking about. Father himself is going to get involved. Excellent job. Come on, take out those Sikh warriors. Take them out. Take them out. Excellent. on focus on one unit at a time I mean lots of the army are actually just bowmen so Kizabashi Musketeers are a quite good consolation prize we've got the Sikh warriors nice so these are units that won't be returning back to the front ah, so then you guys and commit and you guys as well it's the last unit on the field oh, they must have escaped somewhere darn and blast still I'll take that it's a large number of enemies killed for a very small outlay of our troops force them to pull back they're guarding the, their ex extraction route okay one of our armies and India needs to go north around that mountain range because it looks like they are going to attempt to break out in that direction. You may withdraw from your crossing position just to ensure they don't get pushed into, ter into the enemy territory here. You're going to come down here as well. Got lots of oh, desert warriors. Interesting. Okay, right. We're not going to do anything with them yet. We will do it. I'm just making sure I've got my. 
sure my construction is up to a good standard. Gunnery School in London. Again, all this sort of stuff is just about making sure that we can recruit the best units from around the world. If needs be and we get caught out, we can recruit good armies from anywhere rather than relying on one central hub. Gunnery School in Vilnius. Yep. Global trading companies across the board. Governor's Palace and Chokask. I think that's the maximum. Yes, it is. More warehouses or more upgraded plantations have been built. This is all really good stuff. Upgraded sugar warehouse in Curacao. Okay, so. You men push up to Ceylon. I mean, yeah, that's a that's an auto resolver that I've seen on. So former United Provinces region. When I so what I am going to do first of all, let's bring you up to Calicut. Raid. 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 Where's their actual fleet? There's a fleet. Raid their naval hospital. Ah, there's... That's where their actual ships are. Let's take this fifth raid in Scout Calcutta. Can we land an army there now and count on reinforcements arriving rapidly? Nope, they have forces embarked. Okay, that might... Okay, your, this fifth rate is definitely going down. Uh, let's send a cavalry unit out to Colombo to secure it. This army... Stick to Colombo as well. Actually, it means you can move out. You can stay out, actually. Yeah, we need a bit more firepower. But that's kind of what, what I'm doing almost across the board. Let's make sure our other ships are making their way over. We've got one army actually where did you go agent up here doing nothing so as is tradition give them a long walk order upgrade the church school can you guys now leave minus 10 i mean that all the animism will really help well, the conversion from animism will really help. Cartwright is the port, isn't it? Yes, it is. Okay, let's start stacking up a militia army to help garrison. Hey, one of my agents has got increased zeal from converting people in the Americas. Okay, you're all on your way. Okay, let's bring Mr. Guzman up, Mr. Heinemann up to hit Baharaji Shafi. Yeah, but does call in this army in reinforcement. I think that'll be a good moment to uh, start the next episode. So, thanks for watching, guys. Hope you've enjoyed. And we'll see you next time for effectively a lot more battles against the Mughal Empire. Cheers, everyone.